Welcome to Automation Training Hub. In the last video, we have seen uh, how to use analog signals. Before that, we have done one example, tank level control. I hope you remember this program. In this, you can see we were using a level switch. But uh, now, instead of level switch, we'll assume we have a level transmitter, which is going to give the tank level continuously. And in this case, we have low and high level. The reading has been given in here. So when we say low level, it is 600 liters. And when it is uh, high level, it is 5,400 liters. So we want to maintain the tank level within this range. So for this, we have to develop the program. So in the last video, we have done that analog input signal programming. So the same thing only I'm using in here. So now we'll try to develop a program for the remaining part. So right now we have low level and high level. So I'm going to use a comparator. So for comparator, we have to use the sign. So less than equal to. So I'm using a address T20 to give the low level value. And uh, sorry, not D20. I'm going to give D4. So that will be your analog input value. From scale block, we are going to get and our set point will be D20. That will be low level value. So you can see D4. That will be the result. So already in the last video, I have told you the BLC resolution will be 0 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. So right now, we want to see in terms of 0 to 6,000 liters. So for that only, we're using the scaling block. So the result will be stored in D4 address register. So I'm using that uh, register address in the compilator. And the set point has been given in here. And in here, I'm using a output. So this will be low level indication. Same way in here, I'm using greater than equal. D4, I'm using D22. So in here, high level. So already you remember the condition. When your tank level is below low level, valve one should open. So the tank level will increase. Once it reaches above low level also, the valve one should remain in open state. And once it reaches high level, then only valve one should get closed and valve two should open. So vice versa. So what I'm going to do in here is, So I'm using in here low level sensor. So we're connecting to the inlet wall. So if the sensor that range above it comes also, the valve should remain in open. So 
latching we have to make it once it reaches eye level it should off so same way in here so once it reach eye level then outlet valve should open if it is below eye level also it should remain and open so latching we have to make it once it reaches low level and if you press the stop push button now it will stop So you can make this analog uh, signals also respond uh, to start and stop. So for that, what we have to do now, in this, instead of always on, you can use that start and stop operation memory address. So when we press the start push button, it is getting on. But before starting the process, we have to set the low and the high level. So in the comparator in D20, I'm going to set the value as low level is what? 3, 2. 76 sorry 3277 and i is 29498 okay so now we'll press the start push button you can release it so already you can see we are given the ranges for the scaling block. So right now, currently your tank level is zero. Due to that, inlet valve is open. So once the tank level value is above 600 liters so right now you can see still it is in low level so right now i'll just increase the value you can see the tank level is above low level but still inlet valve is open due to latching. So once it reaches eye level, so that eye level value is what? 29,490. That means 5,900 liters. So we're using greater than or equal to comparator So just one mistake we have done that is uh, in here the value we given us uh, in analog resolution value but actually we be using the scaling block now so it should be this value we have to give 600 and 5900 so that's why the confusion is okay so right now you can see 
when we give up. Okay, right now when we give up 31,000. 32. You can see in here. But now eye level sensor is on. That is eye level value has been reached. Due to that, what happens? Inlet valve is closed. Outlet valve is open. So if the value is below eye level, you can see due to latching, it remains it on. So your process will keep on oscillating between low level to eye level. Suppose if you press the stop push button, huh? it will stop. So we have to release it back. So I hope you understood how to use uh, analog signal in programming. Thank you.